What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with that real boxing talk once again. Afternoon grind and Leonard Ellaby um, just erupts, you know, like a volcano today when, you know, keep getting asked and badgered about, you know, the Mayweather McGregor not being a sellout. And, um, you know, he said they already, you know, doubled the live gate that uh, that uh, Oscars boy Canelo Alvarez and Triple G has uh, doubled. And um, that's dead. You know, he said they did about, if he say that, you know, Mayweather and McGregor live gate is 60, 60 million right now in cash revenue, I would guess. So Canelo Alvarez has to be somewhere around, and Triple G has to be somewhere around 30 million. And he just went the fuck off about that shit. He said everybody has to accommodate, you know, for the event. You know, he said CEOs and, you know, people got to, you know, take them a long time to get, you know, plans in place for them to uh, make the trip for the event. Because I heard uh, even Donald Trump wants to come to the event. And um, you know how that go. So if people like Donald Trump going to come and spend their money, even though we know he got money, it's going to be a lot of more prominent people in the building, you know? He, he also pointed out that it's not a fa- it's sellout because of the expensive ticket price. He said nosebleeds go from start at like, like a thousand five hundred to a thousand dollars or something crazy like that. He said you expect that. You know, he said you know Oscar and Canelo Alvarez, you know, you know event with Triple G, tickets are nowhere as expensive. He said, and you know to keep it frank and keep it one hundred, um, Leonard Enderby said you know Oscar lied to the public. He said Triple G and Canelo Alvarez is not a sellout, and one of the media people I believe there confirmed that you know he said that oscar de la hoya's golden boy canelo and triple g is not officially a set out he said it has thousands of tickets still left he said that um he said that fight's a great fight you know he said they will get a pay-per-view buy for me because i'm going to tune in and watch that fight and that's that's real shit though you know it's, it was no hating there he just spit all facts if it's true that it wasn't a sellout oscar has been jealous of floyd mayweather for a long time and Ellerby also pointed that out. Pointed that out. His jealousy for Floyd. He wanted to. He wanted to fight like Floyd and go get his daddy. You know, they were saying that. Um, he's just been picking and, and picking at Floyd for years. And I guess Oscar does have a point here as far as picking with Floyd because they tried to, you know, compete for that September 16th date. Um, McGregor, 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 and Mayweather. They couldn't finalize terms to lock down a T-Mobile Arena. So they couldn't do it the same night because T-Mobile, you know, the T-Mobile Las Vegas Arena is the premier uh, arena right now in Vegas. The MGM Grand is second rate, you know, and if they chose to do the MGM Grand, then they, they, they event would have technically been the second, you know, second rate event where they couldn't charge top dollar like they're charging for and expect people to show out, show up. So who wants to go to, even though it's, it's a great, you know, it's a great event with May, Mayweather and McGregor. But who wants to spend top dollar to go to a second-rate, you know, stadium in Las Vegas? And why it was so important for Oscar to lock down Vegas as the location after I did a few videos on it already, but it's been a while, was because that's that's the fight capital of the world. That's why the A-Lesters want to go to watch fights. So if he took the if he took Canelo and Triple G to Dallas or Los Angeles, the Dodger Stadium or something like that, it'd have been second-rate because Mayweather McGregor would have did Vegas, and everybody wants to come to Vegas to the fight capital to see see the see a see a fight. So he would have been doing himself a disservice there as well. And and definitely they would have even had to move off that date. Cause you know, cause ticket sales with the Mayweather McGregor, ticket sales, you know, the whole juice of the fight would have took away from his from that fight and it would have been a dumb business move. But Oscar was a smart businessman and he locked down the T Mobile ring and he knew what was going on. And um but yeah, you know, I guess he, he Oscar has a right to be mad because Floyd tried to bump them off that date, knowing that's Canelo Alvarez' date now, tried to catch a shadow and tried to shit on them one last time. But he could have went about it differently. You know, going through the media, sound like a, a, a scoring woman with a lot of built-up hatred, going on ESPN, writing open letters to the fans, telling them not to support the fight. You know, and the main ones that's going to be buying the fight is the MMA fans. They're the ones that are going to spend $100. You know, if I do, you know participate in the festivities at the last minute you know how us boxing fans get we ain't buying that shit we ain't buying that shit last minute you know you cave and buy that shit happens all the time you know every hardcore boxing person always do it like i told y'all ross soccer danny garcia almost did a million on on, on showtime (laughs) so y'all say y'all weren't watching it somebody was watching it but um yeah i might do the movies i think it's like 30 40 bucks i mean that's if i do it um i did mayweather birdo after i talked shit about that fight you know 
open confession, but I enjoyed it. The undercard was amazing on the big screen. Um, they kept the movie theater open as late as possible and accommodated everybody the right way. A lot of hospitality. I, I, I liked it. It wasn't rowdy. It wasn't no bullshit going on. You know, I was right outside the hood, you know, in the metropolitan area. So it was all it was all gravy. But, um, but yeah, you know, he has the right to be mad, but he could have did it another way. You know, Tom Lawford said something that, both fights and both events gonna be great, you know. Um, you know, take the they, he took the high road. K two uh, triple G, you know. Oscar just sounds so over the years. He's just a, a hater. All the stuff he said about oh, uh, Floyd Mayweather fighting the undercard with top rank. You know, I didn't even know who he was. You know, just saying, just just saying hateful, pointless shit. You know, and, and Floyd has always you know made jab at him for a minute. You know, over you know the past recent years. But he, he, he didn't do that. He didn't full out blast him like he could have, like he did on ESPN with Stephen A. Smith. He blasted him. You know, he took the high road, took the high road. After after so long of taking the high road, you know, you got to tax that ass. And that's what he did. And people say, oh, you a Floyd Mayweather head. I, ba- I bash Floyd in this this event for weeks now. You know, people want on here want to pick and choose, you know, what I say and what I say. Like, if you want to, you say one thing about Floyd Mayweather. Oh, you're a Floyd, you're a Mayweather, Floyd, whatever they call him. Floyd Yak or whatever like that. And y'all can eat that fat dick, you know? Real talk. If I give a fuck about y'all crying and, and, and trolling people pages, get the fuck on. This your boy CJ Goodfellow.